Hi, James Sabalski here for EA Sports. We're in Calgary, the home of Lanny, Theo, and Iggy. The flames are ready to burn on the ice. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Flames win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. What a steal in his own end. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by DeMello. Here he is on the backhand. Scores! And look who's on the board. The home team has this place up to the again. Uh, you can just hear it in the building. I mean, it's just electric in here, James. And how much fun is it for them when you play at home you get on the board first, you create a ton of momentum. You don't want to give any life to your opponent. The Flames have to be feeling good about themselves. They have been pushing and pushing to start this one. James, they're emotionally charged as they're at home, they're playing their opponent, and they started right from puck drop, and that emotion was transferred or channeled into their feet because they've been all over the ice with their legs under them. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Into the attacking area from the left side. Unable to reach that one. Slides it diagonally to Mangiapane. They've got the defense outnumbered. The Jets gain possession. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Centering pass! Markstrom's gonna hang on for a whistle, and staying focused is key when you haven't seen a lot of work here, Cheryl. Well, as part of their mental preparation as a goaltender, even when you're not busy, you have to stay dialed in, follow the action. He's doing exactly that, and he makes a nice cover. Sharon Kovic has won it off the faceoff. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Calgary's gonna hold him in against the wall. Moves it to Sharnkovich. Takes the pass. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Winnipeg's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Flames have taken a 1-0 lead. Winnipeg's won the draw. And he takes the feed. Hangs the zone along the right wall. And he keeps possession. Batted down out of midair. Here he is, wrists on net. He scores! Jonathan Huberto. This is such an impressive goal, James. He's in a tight space, and he knows exactly where his opponent is, and those silky mitts, they're put to work. You know how often he's practiced on those? He makes his move, not once, twice, multiple times, to be able to bury it. Calgary's clearly had a few energy drinks prior to puck drop because they're already up by a pair here in the first. It's always great to see a team come out and play with desperation, not just at the end of the game. There's been urgency to their step and a lot of pace to their play. Kuzmenko's taking it from his own end. Loose puck battle along the boards. Great feed from the left side. Takes the puck at the point. And it's turned aside by Hellebuck. And he takes the dish. They've got numbers. And he was ready for that one. Oh, turns it aside once again. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes the feed. That's blocked by Markstrom. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Here in the back half of this period, Calgary's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. That's moved up ahead. He's got a step. Oh, beautiful save on the play. And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Good check, frees the puck up. Moves it quickly over to Shifley. Shot, no room for that one to get through. Here's 
a short pass to Sari. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Shot! Scores! Make it three in a row! of the period, Calgary's got a three-goal lead. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Huge steal in his own end. Great poke by Backlund. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. Pass across to DeMello. Period number one is done. We're going to come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. Now let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second because it was one-sided to say the least in the first. And it's a quick pass to DeMello. Moves the puck. Lays out to get that one blocked. Takes the puck behind the net. Can't maintain possession. Slides the puck over. Backlund's been buzzing out there, James, tonight. I mean, he already has the goal. This is a blowout game. A time to pad the stats. Just a great defensive read there. Sends a pass over. And there's the save! Slides the puck to Velarde. The Jets need to find an answer in this game. They're halfway through it. They haven't dictated pace. They've been back on their heels. If they want to get back in it, they're going to have to find some energy and some momentum. Handles the puck. Oh, pokes it away. Gutsy move, but it pays off. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. It has been a one-sided affair. 3-0 is where we sit. Monaghan's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Moves it to Perfetti. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Feeds it over on the attack. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Big time save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. And as play continues, this place is still buzzing and they're getting loud here now. Wow, this is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Dylan's got the puck. Sends the pass over. And that pass goes off a stick. Down the right side and into the zone. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Refs up. Oh, buckle up. They're dropping the mitts. Now well, the jury is out as to whether it was clean or not, but his team didn't like it, and they're responding right now by dropping the gloves. Spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking the thrashing. <laughs> I think you're right. Coming off a heated battle like that, it's important to allow those emotions to just simmer so they can cool off in the penalty box for five minutes, get some rest and some water. Center's tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And they send it down the ice. Here's a shot! Fantastic save! Quick pass to Shifley. Stopped by the goaltender. Couldn't have just 
pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. There's a stop. Carter Mendes scores on the man advantage. He put one hole. And this is exactly why you spend so much time in practice working on specialty teams. James, you can see that good movement to open up lanes, just disrupt the box there, and they're able to cash it in. Well, pass reception is also about the pass itself here, James. And when you have a great pass, you're able to handle it. You can get it off quickly. Winnipeg's got to find a way to get a couple more now after showing some signs of life. The pushback is on much more aggressive through this period than they were in the first games. And they're going to have to continue that, but it's going to start on the faceoff. They have to get a win, own possession, and start distributing the puck. When they do that, they're going to create some speed and some opportunities on net. Calgary's got it in their own zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Puck dumped in, and the forwards go for a change. DeMello stick handling in his own zone. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Markstrom. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Here's a chance in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. There's the whistle as the net comes off. The Jets have had more opportunities tonight, but at some point they need to start finishing here late in period number two. Monahan's won the draw center. Takes the feed from the wing. Shoot. Slick feed. Shot, big stop, just as time expires in the period. 40 minutes of play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. With hot food and ice cold beverages, now's your chance to join us at one of our many concession stands located throughout the stadium. Calgary's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Fires it on net. Turned aside with the glove by Markstrom. Calgary's got the puck in the defensive end. Sharon Kovic has got it in the offensive zone. Here's a chance. That's gloved by Hellebuck. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Hellebuck is known for getting in the groove when he faces a lot of shots, guys. His workhorse zone ability means he stays engaged to give his team a chance to win. And a solid job tying up his opponent. And it's kicked away. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. The Flames take it across the blue line. Quick feed to Huberto. Makes the glove stop. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Lowry's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they win the draw here in their own end. Sandberg's got it in the defensive end. Moves it to Kadri. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Quick pass across to Sean Bovich. And they score! On the power play, they make it happen. That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. Calgary's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. And now it's grabbed by Hannafin. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. A chance in front. Takes a shot. Big save in front. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Passes it in front. What a shot. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. 
Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. DeMello's lugging the puck. Into the offensive end now. Chance in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Along the right side into the offensive zone. And not much on that one. Halifax really struggled tonight, and the team in front of them as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum of this game if they want to get back in it. Quick shot! Makes the save as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Denies him again! Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Winnipeg's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. The Flames take possession off the faceoff. He scores! And he completes the hat trick! Well, he's been zipping and buzzing along the ice this entire night. Happy James and man, do the fans appreciate him. I really like the effort on this goal, James. He gets the initial shot off, but then he continues towards the net, gets in behind the defenders who can't catch up to the rebound, and he puts it in. Calgary's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. On the attack along the boards. Oh, win it perfectly. What a save. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. The Jets have it against the wall. Quick pass over to Dillon. Winnipeg's on the attack. Oh, they just got enough of that one to keep it out. Slides it quickly to Kuzmenko. Poked away by Dillon. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Past the midway mark in this period. The Flames were on the cusp of making this a blowout, leading by four. Calgary's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that faceoff. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Looking to set up offensively. Dylan's going to play it from the back of the cage. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Moves it quickly over to Sharon Govich. Here they come on the attack. Scores! That's three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Calgary's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. Takes the feed. Kadri's going to play it against the half wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And it goes off a stick. Moves the puck up to Niederreiter. The Jets played along the wing. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard fought effort this evening. Angles it over to Niederreiter. Takes a shot. in the face-offs. And winning the face-offs also creates pace into your game. I mean, when you start with the puck, you can have set plays, and you can really get off to the races in terms of your speed. I thought they were excellent tonight. Fun night at the rink, and for all of us here in the EA Sports team, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.